The dispute over logging in Indiana came to Yellowwood State Forest today. At issue was how much logging should be allowed on public land. WTIU Sarah Whitmire reports. The Hoosier Raging Ladies were among those gathered at a timber sale at Yellowwood State Forest to protest commercial logging. A businessman's dream. It's hell to stand here in a landscape so clean. Protesters are particularly concerned by the increase in clear-cut logging, or the removal of all trees from a selected tract. Clear-cut openings have been shown to be very damaging for soil, for water uh, production in the forest, and certainly has been very, very harmful for biodiversity. The trees sold at today's auction were predominantly pine trees. Haberman says the DNR claims if the trees were not harvested, they'd be wasted. But Haberman says a significant number of nutrients will be removed when the trees are taken out. You know, everybody has it, their own voice and their own opinion and there are those that would like to not see any cutting on, on state forest lands and then there are those that uh, appreciate that the state forest system is managed in a sustainable manner. According to Haberman, logging has increased 500 percent since Governor Mitch Daniels took office. Ernst says that's because harvesting in Indiana has traditionally been light. He says the state still currently cuts 50 percent or less of the annual growth. For WTIU News, I'm Sarah Whitmire. The tracks sold at today's auction. Together, they went for about $67,000.